guys, it's Jean Persani with Beauty and the Stamper. So, today is a Sunday crafternoon, and I'm doing a coffee bar, and wanted to add a few items to just um, make my coffee bar a little bit cute, I guess. So, um, if you saw my Dollar Tree haul, you'd see that I bought some items, and then I also got some of these items from my friend Luann, one of you beauties here. And she sent me these lovely uh, chalkboard wall art kind of um, calendars. And I'm going to do a DIY with these. I also have the um, placemat that I had bought at Dollar Tree last week. I have an 11 by 14 frame from Dollar Tree. I have this amazing Grace sticker and this pie tin. Again, all of it was bought from the Dollar Tree. And then this is just a piece of rope and it's got some gold in it. So let me go ahead and start out with this um, uh, twine here. And I didn't really care for the gold. So what I did is I measured out how long I'm going to need. So I'm going to make a sign that says coffee, like a banner sign. And so I took out, measured what I needed, and then I just grabbed the gold that's in here. I just grabbed the piece and started pulling it out like this. So you can do that if you don't want that gold in there. So I did that with a length of rope. So now I have this length, which is completely black now, and then I've got the gold string that I could save if I needed it for something else, but I don't think I'm going to. So I've got my length of string, and I've got these lovely guys here. I'm gonna keep this for something else, and I'm gonna use coffee. Um, so I'm gonna take each of these. We've got a C, O, F, F, E, and E, and then I'm going to save Monday to use for something, um, do I want to, maybe, actually, I'm going to, I don't know, yeah, I'm going to save Monday. I didn't know if I wanted to save Monday or Friday, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these wonderful little guys and I'm going to turn them into banners. So I'm going to go here, right in the middle, and I'm going to go about an inch and a half up, and then I'm going to go from corner to corner, and turn these lovely guys into little banners. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to each and every one of them. And I'll be right back. Okay, beauties. I went ahead and cut most of them out and then designed some of them. And so I wanted to show you. I've got my Tuesday here, and then I've got a Sunday. So I'm just going to line those up, and then I'm going to take those scissors, and I'm going to be able to just follow that same pattern. Just this part is all you really need, because from there, you're going to go from the corner to the line, the top of that line, and then here from the corner to the top of that line and those will mix uh, match together quite perfectly there so now let me go ahead and show you the rest of it so I'm just taking I have um, a Stampin' Up! chalk marker and I have the Jane Davenport paint over pen and I'm going to use the Jane Davenport paint over pen um, just to start because this will paint over any color um, and it's permanent. So I'm just gonna take one of these letters here and I'm going to spell out the word coffee. So I'm gonna start about, I don't know, just about an inch down or so and I'm gonna put a big C and then I'm just gonna put a line down here and kind of add, see if you could see those just add some kind of lines just to give it a little chalkboardy feel. 
And you can do that with the um, Stampin' Up chalk, chalk marker if you wanted to. But so there you have a C. And then I'm gonna do the last letter is gonna be an E. So I'm just gonna go down, across, And then I'm going to put another line and I'm going to do the same thing. And you can decorate it however you want. So I've got that there. So I've got all of my letters now. I have my C and it doesn't matter. I didn't um, care how I put this like little Tuesday sign. So it goes Tuesday, Thursday. But anyways, it goes um, C, O, I got the F, F, E, and E here. So now I'm going to take my string and I'm gonna move this out of the way so you don't. There we go. I'm gonna take my string and I'm gonna kinda cut it in half, but not cut it, just Kind of move it in half there so I know exactly where my center is. Well, there we go. Okay. So here is my center. And I'm just going to put these scissors right here to mark my center. <coughs> okay. So then... Oh, I need one more E, don't I? Let me see. No, I have two E's, okay. I'm searching for all my letters. Okay, so I know that I wanna have my F's here, and I'm gonna make it straight across, and I first wanna line these all up before I do anything. so that I know where, uh, how far to put these apart. So I think I could space them apart even a little bit more. There we go, I think we're good. I also had a black marker in case you mess up. You can always kind of go over it, and just in case, like an eraser. But I don't think I needed it. I'm pretty happy. I mean, it's a chalkboard. It doesn't need to be perfect. And then I'll put my E and my other E, and I think these will work out just great. So I'm going to start out here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the backing, because these are like big stickers is what they are. And I'm just going to take the backing off. And then I'm going to cut about where that line is. And then I'm going to take this where I can see it. And I'm going to put it just above that little... Um, cut line so that it is sticking and then I'm going to flip this over and I want that top line to be showing so you'll see that that has a little line there and then I'm just going to do that all the way across and so now I know I don't need these yet because now I know I have my first one down and about where I want the other ones to stick. So I'm gonna do that to each of these. Same exact thing. Just gonna go a little bit below. And I do it upside down and what we had it spaced 
Mm, about that far apart. We want that banner to be even. So again, stick that down. It can go up a little bit. Because I want that white line to show again. And so now we have the two F's there. And I'm gonna go ahead and add all of the letters and I'll be right back. Okay, we're down to the last one. And I have figured out a way, because my table has this like line right here, I have taken and put that line kind of where this line is so I know exactly where it's at. So then all I have to do is space these as far as I want away from each other and kind of put that ribbon or twine on the line. And then just flip it over and I know exactly where that line is. So I've done them all and now I've got this banner here that says coffee. And so I'm gonna save that and we'll move on to our next project. You guys, I normally don't do so many projects but I've been so behind and wanted to get these out to you. So the next project I'm gonna do is with this pie tin. And let me go ahead and show you here. I'm going to take this same twine and I'm not gonna cut a lot. I'm just gonna cut a little bit here. And I'm gonna take that twine out Again, just push it down, and if it gets stuck, you just push it. Just see how easy that came out. And then, what I'm gonna do here is I will take and hot glue this to this, and I'm gonna hot glue all the way down because I really need it to hold, okay? So I'm gonna hot glue here and here, and then all the way here. And we're going to flip this over and I'm going to cut out this amazing here. And take this. I really wish I could found one that said like sweet or something like that, but that's okay, I really like this little amazing sign. Just a nice way to start your day. And I'm just gonna take that and put it right here. I have a little piece that didn't go real nice, there we go. We've got this little amazing sign. And then the Dollar Tree has these little guys. And all I've done is I've put some Splenda in here. And they've got some little magnets on the back. And that's some sh regular sugar, raw sugar. And then some equals here. And so now we've got the sugar hanging off. And I'll put this again here. And I'm not going to show you that, but I will show it to you when it's complete. And then the third thing I wanted to do was make this really nice little um, sign here. Very quick, very easy. I've got my 11 by 14. I'm just going to take these off of here. And I'm going to use this piece here. And I'm gonna cut this down to fit. And I'm gonna to look to see where it fits best. And I think I'm gonna cut a little off of each side here.
but I want to make sure that it's center. So I'm going about two and a half in on each side. And I'm just going to cut the placemat to size. It doesn't have to be super straight because it's going to get hidden, but try and make it as straight as possible. And I'm going to cut this side as well first because I know that I want those sides done. And I want them to be completely um, centered as possible. And now, this is the hardest part because I want the words to be in there, but it's just going to fit above and below these lines. So I want to make sure that it all gets in there as much as possible. So again, we want to keep that line straight. So I just keep this here to help me keep it as straight as possible. And then the same with the other side. And then I'm going to take this, and I'm not real sure if the glass is going to stay in there or if there's going to be enough. But I'm going to leave it black, and the glass does fit in there. I was trying to decide if I wanted to make it white or not, but I think black is just fine. I'm just going to check to make sure it's going the right way. So I just wanted to make a little um, coffee bar for friends and family who come over so that they can just have a space to, you know, be free and not feel like they're rummaging through your kitchen or anything. So look how cute that is. It's just a really, oh, there we go. It's just a really cute little sign that just says, enjoy every moment. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take these and put them up and give you a picture at the end. If you like these, please give me a thumbs up. You guys, I normally don't do three in one but I wanted to go ahead and show you everything and then show you my coffee bar. So please make sure you share this with your friends. Also make sure you subscribe if you're not and then click that little bell because you wanna make sure that you're notified. So, all right beauties, I still have this little grace here and we'll be making something else with that soon. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.